Hello, four members. This is G47 for Zero Point Fuel. It's been a few uh, weeks since I produced the video. We're going to do this video a little bit different. I'm actually going to run the motor first, then I'm going to talk to the end. Um, and while the motor is running, overlay the video with some stats. So I'll be right back. Shut it down. Let's let the wind down a little bit. down and come on here we go yeah forum members so it's been a few weeks um, I wanted to shoot this video a little bit backwards maybe just uh, see the humming and watch it running and you saw the stats 
um, that I posted uh, via um, while the while the motor was running at 130 volts, 140 volts, and 150 volts. Right? Um, I'm limited by my variac. I think I could push it to 160, but at that point, um, that's probably just my max. So um, I just want to cover all the improvements I've done since the last video I shot back in February, which is when I got the motor first running. First and foremost, I fixed all my amp meters. So I got my amp meters uh, before the input caps, after the input caps, um, after the output caps, excuse me, before the output caps, and before or uh, after the output caps. So I got all that working. All the volt, volt meters were working before. So um, I'm pretty happy with that. And um, so I got that out of the way. The other thing I did is that I changed all the magnets to north facing. That was on the to-do list and that got done. And last but not least, I incorporated, and you can't see it, but there's these high, uh, high speed uh, bearings ceramic bearings hybrid ceramic bearings uh, hybrids just means they're a little cheaper but they're still ceramic and i installed um one block here and then there's another up block obviously on the back side of the wheel so i'll be honest with you um i'm ready for more um uh, research i can't get past 685 rpms at 150 volts now i will tell you this my chips are rated at almost, I think it's 700 or 800 volts. I just don't have a way to run it any higher because of my Variac controller. And if I do the math, I'm getting about uh, roughly, uh, I'm getting roughly about 40 RPMs for every 10 volts that I'm pumping into this thing. So I don't know if it's just a matter of voltage. Um, I'm not pulling in a lot of uh, amps in. Um, my amps in are only, you know, point, uh, to, point to almost a quarter of a point um, when I jump from 130 to 150 volts. Um, I mean, the idea is not to raise it exponential, I would imagine. So I'm going to let Technomancer um, chime in on that. So that that's pretty much it. I think it's safe to say that right up to here, which is the input side to my motor, right? I'm good. The problem lies either with the wheel not being true and or not being dead center on the magnets, but I did follow the firing patterns. Um, or last but not least, um, and I'm just going to shoot this right here. It's kind of dark outside. It's getting dusk. Um, maybe there's something with my control boards that's limiting it, but my chips don't even get anywhere near warm. So I don't believe it's the chips. Um, so who knows? I think I'm going to start um, where anybody would start is probably redoing uh, one of the coils and redoing uh, the control board or talking to Technomancer at this point. Um, the, only, I, the only thing I can think of is that maybe the wheel's not true. And that's holding it back a little bit, but it's not the bearings. I guess I can say that. So that being said, um, I hope you enjoyed the video forum members. Um, this is G47 for zero point fuel. I'm open to any comments. Thanks for watching. We're out.